Good morning. I think you're going to get a lot of these really cute morning cold whatever headed views. <laughs> oh, it got really cold last night. I think probably, probably close to 25. I want to say, I don't know. I'm not a leather person. Um, it's really hard to get out of my tent, but I think I decided that, um, for a February start, I need to get a warmer sleeping bag for sure. Cause this, um, it's still, it's a little chilly and the condensation made it pretty cold. I did have a hand and body warmer all night, so this was good. It, it helped, it helped, but it's chilly. I don't want to get out of my tent. Also, I don't know if I like slept, if I have a pinched nerve or if my sleeve was too tight or something, but my hand is still tingling. It's been tingling for like two hours now. Like I can barely feel my fingertips. So yeah, <laughs> see you in a bit. Good morning, everybody. It is 9 a.m. I'm pretty sure it's like 32 out here or something. I don't know. I'm not a weather woman, but it's cold. I will always remember, let me see if I can turn it around. This wonderful campsite I slept like a baby at. Oh, it was so good. So, uh, yeah, that's that little bear bag sign that I was telling you about. So, it looks like... 5.2 to Bear Gap, but we are going to go hopefully, uh, I think about 11 or 12 today. Um, yeah, it's really cold, <laughs> but I'm feeling good this morning. I feel like I'm rested and I stretched and, you know, I'm ready to go. I ran out of moleskin, so I did have to put duct tape over my blisters, but... Hopefully that will help with the rubbing. And I was able to pull my leggings down like past where the, where the like over my heel kind of thing. So hopefully I won't have uh, any worse blisters and they won't be killing me later on today. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get moving and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I have an admission. If you are new to trekking poles or backpacking or whatever, and you decide to start using trekking poles, yesterday I was like going down all these really steep downs and all these really steep ups. And I was like, why the heck are my trekking poles sliding so much? Like I can't actually get a good grip. Well, <laughs> Oh, if you take the rubber tips off that are supposed to be for hard surfaces and road walking, <laughs> you get a little better grip on the ground. So <laughs> if you're new to it, make sure you take those tips off before you get on an actual trail. <laughs> It'll really help you out. <laughs> it's a big old tree. <sighs> Looks like they kind of made a path for us here and other people were coming up around here. I'm not really sure what's going to be the best route. Mmm. You guys ever smelled like trees, roots when they're fresh out of the ground? That's probably weird, but it smells really good. Okay, that well, wasn't too bad. fun little bridge. Oh, the stairs are a little slick. Slow, slow. Let's figure out what river this is in a little bit. I know it's not Toxaway because that's where I'm headed tonight. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Oh man. I love this view first thing in the morning. Just you wait. Side. 
well, am I going up Amicola Falls or what? I mean, I know there's a lot more stairs than this, but check this out. <sighs> Can't even see the top from here. All right, so I remember that's Horse Gap because it was a straight up afterwards. Um, I took my glove off because I thought maybe I'd be able to see if I could tell if I could feel my hands again. And it's like kind of tingly still. I don't... It's not really cold, so I don't, I don't know why it's tingling. I think maybe it's a sign of a tick bite is whenever things start going. I don't know. I feel like it would take a little while to get have that effect, though. So maybe it is a pinched nerve. I'm going to stop here in just a little bit and give myself a good, a good tick check. Just in case. Maybe once I make it to the top. All right. No ticks from what I can see. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is. It must just be a pinched nerve somewhere, but thankfully I don't really feel it if that's what it is. I don't know. I'll probably give myself another good, a good check whenever I get to camp tonight if it's still feeling this way. It's weird. I've like never had that happen before. Um, okay, well now I'm going to climb over a tree. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can show you. This is good. Um, okay, I'm going to put the camera down. Talk to you guys in a bit. Look at all of those beautiful mountains. One, two, three, four. <laughs> two hours in, and I have just started my second bottle of water. Uh, what I didn't tell you guys this morning is that I'm pretty sure I didn't drink enough yesterday. I honestly don't know how much I drank, but... I, uh, in the middle of the night, I had a few, like, kind of body cramps, you know, where you think you're dehydrated, but you don't really know, and then I went to the bathroom, and my pee was, like, yellow, like, yellow, yellow, and it did not smell good, so I'm gonna try really hard to drink more water. Uh, Lord knows I don't want to be pulled off trail because of dehydration. <laughs> it's hard, though. It's cold out here, and this water's, like, freezing cold. <sighs> Man. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> I think it's just like, oh, the sunshine that's come out. And I just got service and got a video of one of my friends and her fiance. They've been watching all my videos. They <laughs> sit down every week to watch them, but I don't know. I think it just feels so good. Like knowing that all of you guys and all my friends, like people are out there watching me, cheering me on. <laughs> oh. I'm probably the happiest and dirtiest <laughs> that I've ever been. <sighs> oh man. Hopefully I still feel this way after 2200 miles. <laughs> I think I will. I'm from right there and I didn't think I had another road access until after Bear Gap. Um, this is the way I go now. And then uh, that one was uh, Crane or Cane Creek access or something like that. Um, so I'm wondering if I just missed Bear Gap altogether, or if I'm just like totally off on my map. My little elevation map that I have. I mean, if I am, that's cool that I'm ahead of the game, but... Oh, so interesting. I'll just keep on hiking until we see another sign, I guess. <laughs> So this must be Bear Gap camping. 
Oh, this is a good little area. Maybe I'll have some lunch here. Tortillas and pepperoni again, y'all. <laughs> oh, creek access too, perfect. Fill up my water. Update on the water situation. As you saw, I have given up on the sea knock bag. Um, it honestly just takes too much time, and I mean, it's fine. Um, <laughs> Taz told me, which I've heard before, but he reminded me about the kiss method keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> so I've decided to go. This is a pretty little look at this. Oh, such a nice view of the creek. This is a good side. Aww. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> the kiss method. Keep it simple, stupid. So I've decided I'm just going to have, probably on the AT, I'll take an empty one. So I'll have two um, liter or even the 700 milliliter life water bottles. They'll be my dirty bottles and one clean bottle. Oh, let me make sure I'm going the right way. I think maybe this way. Oh yeah, there's a place. Um, <laughs> and one clean bottle. The whole like filtering it into the bottle so I can drink it just makes no sense when I can just literally screw the Sawyer right onto my water bottle. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> All right, first sign I've seen in a while. I am only 33.8 miles from Table Rock. That's so crazy. Um, today I am headed to talks away river six miles so I think uh, I have right now six miles left I don't know if there's any campsites right after it but yeah that's kind of where I'm headed and I just saw this cool sign I'm coming into gorgeous state park welcome to North Carolina y'all I'm pretty sure we've been in North Carolina though so <laughs> Lots of ups today <sighs> and downs. Um, my knees bother me just a little bit. It was I'd gone away for so long and then I think just how many stairs I've done today uh, kind of made it flare up again. So if it really gets any worse than this, I'm gonna take some ibuprofen. Whew. All right, keep going. Alright guys, well I did end up taking ibuprofen because my knee was just killing me. And uh, it normally kicks in by now, but it didn't, so I pulled out that knee brace. I don't know, it's going to try and follow me again, and I don't know how to change it yet, but this is the knee brace. Hopefully, oh gosh, there we go. I'm not sure if I'm wearing it right. <laughs> I may have to play around with it a little bit, but hopefully it helps. You guys see the river? We're getting closer to our campsite. It's a wide river too. I can't wait to get down there and actually see it. I can only get a little bit through the trees here, but uh, maybe we'll get a good view up, for, up here. There we go. so pretty <laughs> uh, I've been hearing this noise all day long thinking that I'm it's a helicopter going over because it's like foggy or really cloudy and I can't see anything and it turns out it's just boats <laughs> just boats 
going down the river. Oh, I think I get a lake or like a, a view up here, maybe a bridge. Yay, I can show you guys. It's so pretty. Here we go. I like the Duke energy portion of the trail that maintains it or owns it or whatever it is. They always have really good signs. Oh, but look at this beautiful river. Oh. There's something over there. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but good thing we're just hiking on a trail. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, under the tree. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was a little bit, a little bit, uh, whatever you call it, lower than I thought it was going to be. I just got on here to say, I I found a campsite. I don't think it was a, like, designated one or whatever, but, um, after being, like, in the mountains, being in the open like this, and, like, there's boats passing by, and, like, a bucket and a scrub brush on the side and like netting and stuff I feel a little exposed like anybody could just pull up on their boat <laughs> uh, yeah so I'm gonna keep on walking <laughs> but it's a nice flat walk now so that's good and the knee brace is really helping maybe the ib ibuprofen kicked in too I don't know vitamin I whatever anyways I'll show you what we got Nice and flat, for a minute anyways. I'm sure it'll snake back uphill before I know it. Now that is a bridge. Look at that, how beautiful. Crossing the talks away. Let's see if I can get over there. I think there's people camping at the talks away um, campsite or whatever. So I'm definitely gonna head on, head on to Rock Creek. So the place that I saw earlier was just, somebody had set up camp there a few times and it's rubbed into the terrain. All right, what goes up must come down, right? So we're, whoop, if I don't fall first, gonna go up to go down over the bridge. Must be a pretty new bridge. Oh, wow, like the wood is still so fresh. Okay, hopefully it doesn't, oh yeah, it's shaking on me. Oh boy. <sighs> Makes me nervous. Okay, but. Oh boy. Okay, I'm just gonna turn and show you guys the views here. Woo! Okay, I'm not really somebody who's normally afraid of heights, but when you're walking on a bridge and it's shaking like this, ooh! scary. This is like the Royal Gorge. It's got a giant suspension bridge over it, but oh, oh my goodness. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, I look like an old lady trying to rush across this bridge right now. <laughs> oh man, okay. Okay, Ooh, I'm not gonna run because it'll make it shake more. Okay. Ooh, we're a little more, well, we're bouncy over here, but a little more stable. That's right. pretty. There were definitely people down there. Um, it looked like there were people doing a through, but I was just kind of on a mission where it's 3.15 and I hope I didn't make a boo-boo. That was a really nice campsite. <laughs> but they said there was another one 1 1.2 miles away. And the other group of people that were on the boat seemed like they might be a little rowdy. So I found that I really don't mind camping alone. <sighs> I probably could have said a little more than hello though, so <laughs> if you watch this, hi! <laughs> Sorry I was on a mission. <sighs> Alright, hopefully I can make it to this Rock Creek place. It says it's 1.2 miles and the next one isn't for another four, so I hope Rock Creek actually exists. <laughs> I should have done the Stairmaster before getting on here. It seems like they knew. <laughs> Putting in all those stairs, people would need a rest. <laughs> I'm gonna try and keep on going. I don't wanna get stuck anywhere. Oh gosh, looks like we got some more stairs up here. All right, all right. Or at least a big incline. Oh, maybe that's why the camp's, oh yeah, lots of stairs. 
Maybe that's why this campsite's supposedly a mile. Oh man. Here we go. So good news, it's really far from my tent site, um, but I found a bear bag cable, so it's just like the one that I had last night. Um, so you won't have to see me use this, so maybe... good day today um, I think I hiked about 10 miles it felt like more than that but I think I hiked about 10 um, I met this really lovely campsite right by a creek it's called Rock Creek and I love that I can hear the water coming down um, yeah today was a pretty good day I um, positive for the day I got to limbo even if it was by myself and I was really terrible at it I've always been bad at it and I got to have a nice little dance party by myself so that was a lot of fun yeah I know I'm weird it's fine <laughs> you gotta find your entertainment somewhere whenever you're out here by yourself right um so update my tingling in my hand went away I think my it's really cold out here so I really can't tell um I did do another tick check didn't find any. I really think it's just like a pinched nerve or something um, from carrying my back, my heavy backpack that I don't normally care, carry. Um, and my knee was giving me a lot of trouble, but after I put the brace on and I think maybe the ibuprofen kicked in, it helped a lot. So yeah, that's where we're at. This is day five. Gosh, five days already? It's gone. Oh, well, I guess there was that little interruption in the middle, but it's gone by so fast. Um, I think I'm going to have two more days to finish. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Is it day five? Or is it day four? No, I think it's day five. I don't know. They're all running together now. I really am fearful for how I'm going to keep track of the days on the AT. <laughs> Anyways, it's, uh, it's about 530 right now. I'm going to try and work on some videos and um, try and get to sleep early. And I'm gonna set an alarm for six o'clock in the morning and hopefully I can get up this morning. <laughs> I couldn't pull myself out of the bed, it was so cold. Right now it is like 35 outside, so I'm sure it's gonna, it's gonna get pretty chilly again tonight. Anyways, I'm done rambling, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning. It is um, like 6 a.m.-ish, maybe like 6.15 now, uh, on day six of my through hack. Um.